Howdy folks, um, just got an Amazon package in for um, a camping trip I'm coming up on and I've been doing a lot of research on these. It's those backcountry ultralight hammocks. Um, I got more for car camping, but to save some space in the truck for in case we got a couple extra guys going along. Um, I wanted to get one of these ultralight cots and um, got the Amazon special. I wanted to see how it is. Didn't see very many reviews for this one on the Amazon or on YouTube. So I figured I'd give it a go and do an unboxing and give an initial thoughts on it. So I bought the FE Active version of it. It's kind of a knockoff, Chinese knockoff of the Helinox. So let's go ahead and unpackage it and see what we got here. Bring my little table over here in front of it. So let's see what comes in the package. The drawstring there to cover it. We got the same colors as the healing box, so it's pretty fun. But I think it was only about 70 bucks on Amazon. Figured give it a whirl. As I try to break it here in front of y'all. Let me get one item. So this is how it comes packaged. You got all your legs and your support post. Um so so far it seems like good shape. Let's go ahead and get the Support post put together here. These are the ends. Every, looks like everything's shop corded like your normal tent post, so everyone should be familiar with that. The support side supports go together pretty well. Let's get the legs together here. Went together fairly well. So they don't feel cheap. They don't feel chintzy at all. Some some of those steaks you get for tents, they're really cheap feeling. Um, so far this one's not, so. Impressed with the quality for what it is so far. This one comes with five legs to get a little bit more support. I know there's some older versions out there that people complained about with the four legs. So I made sure I got the one that had the five. All right, got the five together. And um, not sure what this is. I think they're saying you could use it as a pillow if you stuff it, because it's got a little bit of padding in there, but I don't know about you, but that's a heck of a small pillow. I think that's what it's supposed to be used for. So that probably won't be getting used. Get rid of these rubber bands. I'll get rid of my table here. So, sounds like it'll be a little noisy, but go ahead and get this thing put together here. Now, I'm not doing this with any instructions, so I'm going off a of my attempt on what I think how it goes together. So the equipment together, you gotta watch out where you stick it as I take out my living room wall. Um, it's got the little holes for where their feet go, so it takes a little bit more time. You can't be ram jamming it in here. You need to make sure it goes into the, the proper areas. sewn shut so that's good it's a dummy proof there so you gotta go from the top down where the wording is second side looks like it's gonna go through much easier I probably won't take this if I go for any kind of backcountry adventures. 
Um, mainly just for, just to save down weight, I'll take the plain old sleeping pad. I got two different ones, but a heavier, wider one for this. So, got that laid out, and then I'm gonna go through and click the legs. So we'll do the outs opposite side first of me, and I don't know if that there's no clicking feature, so ran it in there, stretch it out. He's on it. Just to get that tension. So there we go. First one's in. So the trick is to do it that way. She is tight, so just give it a little bit more stability. Um, one thing I noticed is I'm putting this in here. The extra leg in here, basically, is they put it in the center, so that's a good thing. Give you that little extra support where needed. So it's going together fairly well, so it's a good thing. Oh, you're not struggling too much if you're out there and you're camping or back in the backwoods. So. All right, got it together. And flip it over here and give you the best view. So, it's not too bad. It needs to stretch out a little bit. Let's so let's try it out here. Oh yeah. So, probably sleep a little warm, but not too bad. I know people were talking about them tipping. I'm rocking pretty good on that. I'm not getting it to tip now. I'm in my living room on a hardwood floor and a carpet with a rug protector, so don't know how much that plays into it, but yeah. I'm a side sleeper, so with that looking under there and putting all the weight down, I would say I at least got it in my hand. So that's about, I would say three inches. I weigh about 200 right now, so I probably got about three inch um, clearance on the ground. So I think these are rated for 275, but I think that's gonna work. Pop up off of it there. And um, this is that more expensive one I bought, just a regular cheap old pilot, just for car camping. Didn't need a high dollar lightweight Nemo one. So. I think with that, that's going to be perfect. The sleep pad's a little wider than that, but that ain't no big deal. I don't plan on riding. I shouldn't roll off of it. Hey, if I had too many beers, but yeah, I think um, that's going to work pretty sweet. Might even try it without the pad on it. But um, yeah, that's um, that's going to work out awesome. Might, um, pads are a little bit wider, but I do notice one thing. I might try to go buy some felt strips just to put on there. Um, just to protect the bottom of the tent so I'm not messing anything up there. But, um, otherwise, I think this is great. Um, no complaints. I don't have the Helinox to comp compare it to, but, um, I'm impressed. Like I said, 75 bucks. I think the Helinox one is about 250 so... If you want to save yourself, whatever that math comes out to, I'm the math wizard and I can't even do it. 175 bucks. If you want to save yourself 175 bucks, everything seems to be well constructed. I don't think you're going to be disappointed in going with these cheaper ones. Um, like I said, I got the this one. Like I said, is the FE Active. So I wouldn't. I'm going to try it out here in about um, two weeks. So I'll give you an in-field review of it and put it out there and give you my real-world feedback. But from initial thoughts and unboxing, um, this thing's going to be pretty sweet. I think the weight comes in at like 4 pounds, between 4 and 5 pounds. I don't think it's on. It's 
not on the packaging, so, but I think that's about what it comes out to, about four or five pounds, so. I'm gonna rate this as a good buy as of right now. Um, initial thoughts, good buy. I'll do a good buy representation once we actually get out in the field and test it out for a few nights. We're going camping about three or four, I think it's three nights, um, up in Northern Pennsylvania here, going to check out the elk and the rut will be in then, so. Um, stay tuned for that review and I'll catch you all in the woods.